using the words disgusting, shameful, and offensive. Some Douglas County residents are calling out their elected officials for holding a town hall and a gun shop. We asked CBS4 investigator Brian Moss to find out more about this unusual setting for a public meeting. I did not have the gun. Carol Johnson, a 72 year old grandmother in Castle Rock, has been a gun owner for 30 years. I don't kill anything else, just rattlesnakes. She's used her pistol to twice kill rattlers. And when it rattled, because it was coiled and its head was ready to strike. But this longtime gun owner says she was offended by this. This is a very, very dangerous building. In March, five Republican state legislators held a town hall meeting at this Castle Rock gun shop. Live shooting was going on in the store's indoor range. I think it was bullying in, insofar as it um, was in a place that, for half the constituents of the county, was an uncomfortable place. And so um, it eliminated the kind of citizen participation and the kind of questions that you would hope would arise. Town hall meetings are typically held in government buildings, libraries, school gyms, churches. Why have a town hall in a gun shop like this? I really don't see anything wrong with it. It's a local small business. State Representative Pat Neville says this was the third town hall he's held in a gun store. He said he doesn't understand why anyone would be uncomfortable. I think the complaints are invalid. Do you think having a town hall here brings people together? Or do you think it more polarizes us as a society? I think it brings us together more because, like I said, they come in here and they realize it is a safe environment. They can handle guns safely. They can get proper training if they want to. They can learn about different firearms. Neville said if citizens were uneasy with things surrounded by guns, they could have come to a meet and greet afterwards at this nearby restaurant. Neville says he's held public events at other venues like this Village Inn. And who doesn't want to be around pancakes? The government has a role to provide. But Carol Johnson believes political leaders are scaring off some voters by holding events at what she considers a toxic location. Thank you guys for being here, and God bless you. Brian Moss, covering Colorado First.